In today's video, I'm gonna share with you three passive investments that pay me at least $500 per month and how you can also get into these similar investments yourself. So the first one you see here is one of the rental statements from my one of my rental properties that I have. You know, every month that property manager sends me the statement, they send me the cash. That's the money I can use to pay for my mortgage payment, but then also I'm cash flowing over $650 a month after I've paid all my expenses. And so that's the one thing that's nice because it didn't start out that way. In fact, I think it started out right around like 10.95 a month. But now you can see it's already bumped up to 13.80 per month after several years because why? Rents go up. So the cool thing is, although it started out with a nice cash flow in the beginning, it just kept getting nicer and nicer and more and more profitable. And that's what you want. So I love having a rental properties like that, that they do go up with inflation. They give me an increase in income as time goes on. So I kind of get that inflation hedge, but it also is nice because Hey, you know, it's a real property. It gives somebody a service. It gives them a place for them to stay. And by the way, that renter's been there the entire time. They have not left. They've been awesome. And those are the kind of renters that you love. You don't want to lose those people for sure. All right, the second one is raw land. I have a partnership where I have partners that they go and they buy and sell raw land for me. I'm the financer, so I provide the cash. They provide the labor which I love because I don't like the labor part. Um, I'd much rather have them do it, especially because they're much better at it than I am. But again, because I've got cash, I can use it. Uh, in total, I've, I've put in almost $400,000 into this, but you can see that now the monthly income is over the last couple of years has gone up to 9,600 a month, almost 10,000 a month right now. Um, the thing that's awesome is that, you know, in, in one of this thing here, the enterprise value, the current inventory, you combine those two together, the current inventory is the wholesale price of the land that hasn't sold yet, while the enterprise value is the land that has sold and what it got to be sold at at retail and what I'm being paid on monthly because of that. And so really in total, if you sold off all these properties, I probably have over $700,000 of land that I was able to purchase for really less than, less than $400,000. And of course, the important thing is, it's not about how much I, I made just from them selling it, but it's that income that comes from it, right? Because how many of you guys, have that goal of 10,000 a month. Well, guess what? It didn't require me to save up $3.3 million in a 401k or an IRA to hopefully get 10,000 a month. Instead, I spent less, so far invested less than 400,000 to get almost 10 grand a month. So again, it's not about how much money you have, it's about what that money is doing for you that creates all the difference in your life. And then the third one you see here is actually an affiliate check, or really it's the statement from the end of the year. Um, I had somebody on our podcast, they were a great guest. They had a program that was of great value for my audience. And, I, and they said, hey, because you're putting me on your podcast, we'll pay you any cut of people that come from that. And so what happens is I got a couple of checks there in just really the last few months of the year uh, that ended up paying me some money there, which was pretty cool. The first check was over a thousand bucks. Affiliate, what that really means is you're the person that's the referrer, right? You refer somebody to someone else, usually to a business, and then they pay you part of their marketing budget. This first became apparent to me. I didn't realize this was a thing, really, until uh, after I quit being a financial advisor. And it happened when I was a mortgage broker. I remember uh, at the time, one of my friends asked me, he said, Chris, is this what you wanna do the rest of your life? Do you wanna be a mortgage broker? And I said, you know, I love teaching people and helping them out, but honestly, I hate paperwork. He said, Chris, why don't you find somebody who loves doing paperwork? I said, there's no nerds that like doing paperwork, is there? Is there? He said, yes, of course there are. So I remember going to the guy that owned the brokerage. I said, hey, does anybody fit this description? He says, yeah, talk to Clark. Because if you got a name like Clark, let's be honest, you're a nerd, okay? Sorry, Clark's out there, but you know, we love you. But anyways, uh, so this guy, Clark, and I went to him. I said, listen, if I hand you all these clients that are ready to go, you just have to do all the work for it. Would you pay me half? He said, yes. And so we had this great partnership going on where again, I let him do the work. I taught them. He didn't have to sell anybody because they just came to him ready to go, ready to do a mortgage refinance or something like that. And so he would do that. And then I would get a check for a thousand or 2000 bucks. And I thought, this is cool. Who else can I do this with? And so I even did it with other businesses that people would you know, ask me questions on. For example, I was younger in my twenties. I knew lots of people that were getting engaged or married. And so I had an affiliate with a wholesale jeweler that would save them a lot of money on their on their rings, their engagement rings and wedding rings, but I would also get like a 5% kickback. So there's lots of things you can do to actually create money from that. It doesn't always have to be having money to create money like you would when you buy a property or if you'd buy in raw land, but as an affiliate, it's about the connections, who you know, how you can serve companies or serve other people, and then they pay you a cut as long as it's legal. Now, if you're curious how I would invest $1 million to make passive income, then I would go and check out this next video.